Alright guys, this episode will be very very short, sorry about my sunglasses. So, uh, I want to talk about river carping and I will call a couple of videos about river carping, a river car bug, because I caught that bug a couple weeks back. Oh, I have to mention that today is 31st of May and we still have a couple weeks of closed season, we can't fish the rivers here in the UK. So, a couple weeks back I was walking my dog in the morning and I noticed carp big one actually was feeding just in the edge the tail looked like more or less like my hands like he was going at some i don't know what he was feeding actually on but his tail was up and he was stirring the water it looked at least 25 pounds i would say common as well so given the situation i wasn't able to fish for them because of the close season but i had the fish feeding in front of my eyes and i kind of caught that car bug so i will go after them this summer and this episode will be quite short because in this episode i will cover the locations where i will uh, be trying to catch them and also all the rest when it comes to feeding rigs presentation etc i will cover in other videos but this one is just about the location and i started my like works when it comes to the location already because i have a kayak and i managed to go out one day on the kayak and i plumbed up with the paddle of my kayak likely spots where i was hoping that I will find the right depths and the all other factors will be like right in my head to catch a few carp of those locations. So I think I will go to just another spot to put a little bit of bait in because I'm starting to pre-bait the swims, but uh, I'm not putting a lot, just probably 50 boilies in every swim and I have about five or six swims which I will be looking after. Of course, uh, as I will be fishing in the areas which are on day ticket, I can't guarantee that I will get the spot uh, wherever I want. So I can't commit really on any of the spots. So I will be very, very careful about my feeding. Uh, by that, I mean, I will try to be a little bit sneaky just to feed when I'm sure that no one is watching me what I'm doing. And also I'll try to fish just very very supply like when no one is watching me and if I will catch one carp I will show for you guys but hopefully will not post the pictures on Facebook or whatever so yeah now I will go to the overpack and put a little bit of bait as well And now I think whilst I will put the rest of these boilies into the swim, I think let's have a quick look how I was searching for those spots out of the kayak. Right, this area looks quite good actually. The flow is going like that and that bush kind of protects the fish from the, from the flow. So yeah, I hope that that area, once it's protecting the fish from the flow, so it has a little bit of slack. So I want to check the bottom here. All I will do, I will chuck my paddle and see how deep it is and what kind of bottom it is. Actually that's too deep and the bottom is quite quite soft, it's silt. Small bubbles are coming through. I mean I could fish this area but I don't want to really because I know that there will be some areas which will have proper gravel and this area is too deep as well a little bit this, this actually a little bit closer to the bank that that's not bad i will consider it but still that silt ideally i would want to fish on the gravel we'll check just how deep that silt is it's not very deep actually probably i would say maybe 15 10 centimeters maybe a little bit more as you can see even I have some like silt residue or silt bits on my paddle here. Okay, let's go and find some other spots with nice gravel. Check this area as well. Very similar configuration, sort of low and then bush. Bushes and then no bushes and we have some slag here. 
uh, as you can hear, I hope you can hear actually that it has some silt in here, but also it has some st small stones and some gravel and it's a little bit shallower. This spot is actually very, very good. I will take a note of the spot. This spot definitely could produce a carp or two. And good thing is that it's quite a good cast from the other side. Yeah, this this one is pretty good. Let's let's poke around around a little bit longer, maybe just to see how how it's sloping, etc. But this looks good, actually. This looks good. Very very close to the bushes, as you can see. That it has some silt and it's sloping quite fast, actually. But the bottom is much harder. It's not like just just gravel it has some silt in it but it has some gravel as well so and here it's gravel i can feel immediately it's a little bit maybe too deep but this area is actually quite good by that bush a little bit forward from the bush oh yeah that's a gravel Right, I just fed the swim and I thought I will give you a little bit like concentrated piece of information how I did choose those spots which I will be putting my bait on. Basically three things really. First of all, the spot must have some cover close to it. So in this case I have like a gap in between the bushes so there is like a line of bushes along the bank and then there is a gap and, uh, and the line of bushes to the other side as well and I will be presenting my bait sorry about the sunglasses forgot about them actually it's so bright my eyes will melt I guess so where I, where was I so I was saying that I will be presenting my hook bait right in the gap in between the bushes so the cover right then the second thing the depth I want that the depth would be about five feet plus and uh, the bottom must be hard, so gravel, little stones, something like that. And then the spot must be easy to present the bait on. By that I mean when I was plumbing up the depths with a paddle with my kayak, I was looking uh, on the other bank as well, because obviously in some spots I will have to cast across the river. And I made sure that I would be able to cast very well from that bank which I will be casting from so that bank must be like free of branches and stuff so I would be able to whack out my rig into the spot accurately right I'm back from the river uh, I had to stop filming there because my microphone died so I will wrap it up very quickly now basically was very hot so enjoying a cold drink as well so uh, I won't do any challenges but if I will get like five carp out of the trend I will I will be very very happy I hope you enjoyed this short video and I hope that in the next few videos you will see me with a big carp out of the trend thanks for watching guys and see you in the next one